<clears throat> Hi guys, it's me Tanner, and today, um, it's Sunday when I'm making this video, just an FYI. Um, it's been on my heart recently, um, recently as in like today, um, that I need to, not that I haven't been using my YouTube channel for good, but, um, I've been using it for kind of my own pleasure, my own kind of, um, escape from this crazy world. Um, but I need to use it in a platform for, um, praising God. Um, I know I do covers and all of that stuff of some Christian songs, but, um, anybody can really do that. I mean, it's not like it's taking a bunch of extra effort to sing those songs about, God, it takes guts to sing them, because you might not be a good singer, but, um, I just wanted to let you all know that at ISU here, there's a great place called CSF, or Christian Student Fellowship, and it's a place where, um, you can go and fellowship with other believers, um, and it was really great today. I went to the worship service this morning at 10 a.m., and there wasn't that many of us there, but the room just filled with love for God. And the songs that we sang were just lifting him up. And that's what we should do every day. We shouldn't live life in fear. We shouldn't live life um, wondering if and when he's coming back. We know he's coming back soon. We don't know if that's tomorrow. We don't know if that's tonight. If it's 10 days from now. Ten months from now or even 10,000 years from now. Nobody knows. But we need to live life to the fullest. And today in um, CSF, I just felt that in the room. I just felt that the presence of God was in there with us. And <clears throat> then tonight, um, we had um, a thing called Worship and Prayer Night. That might not be like the official title, but that's what I'm calling it. And we had some student leaders lead fellowship. They, um, they sang songs in the background while we prayed. Um, but then one student challenged us to pray with people. Um, now me personally, I don't like to pray with people. Um, I'm more of a pray by myself kind of person. I don't like to, um, burden other people with my prayers um so i kind of like to do it by myself but um recently since i started going to isu in the csf house um i've been praying more and more with people um and tonight it was me and four girls and we all just laid down our guards and we just told our biggest fears of the now i guess um, there were so many different things that were going on, and there were so many things going through my head, like, that I wanted to say to them, because I've been through what some of them are going through, and it's just, it's hard to put into words, you know? Like, when you hear somebody is struggling with something, you want to comfort them, you want to pray over them, you want to pray with them, but it's just like, I didn't know what to say at the time. And it's just, it's hard um, when we were praying. But at the end of the night, I just went up and I hugged them. And I just said, girls, I'm praying for you. I've been in your situations before. And I don't really know what to say right now. But I am going to pray for you because I can do that. And God listens to our prayers. He might not always answer our prayers right now. But he does listen to them. And he does want us to be happy and he is happy when we're happy he's happy all the time he loves us all the time even though we might do something bad or make the wrong decision we might not go down his path that he, he let us down but he still loves us regardless we sin every day but god loves us we need to repent to him we need to show him that we are sorry for the sins that we've committed that we understand that it was wrong i mean i'm as big as a big i do this all the time i um like will 
do something, then I'll pray to him, and I'll be like, oh, I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry I did that, and then I'll go right back and do it again, and it's just like, why? Why did I do that? I just, sometimes I just don't understand, it just amazes me that even when I mess up so many times and pray for forgiveness so many times, he's forgiven me before I even pray for forgiveness, but I need to learn to forgive myself. I don't always forgive myself. I really struggle with that. I think that if I made a bad choice, it's the end. It's like the worst thing that could happen. But God's already forgiven me. The only person that's hurting me is myself. And I need to get over that. I need to get over thinking I'm not worth anything, that I'm not loved. Because I am. God loves me. And God loves you. God loves you regardless of your make, your gender, what um, religion you are. Even if you don't believe, God still loves you regardless. God wants you to come believe in him and he wants you to live with him eternally, but God's put you on this earth for a reason and he loves you no matter what choices you make and you need to forgive yourself for the choices you've made and you need to believe in yourself that you can do anything that you want and that God is going to be right next to you when you do those things and that you are worth something to him. You are worth everything. So, um, yeah, that's been on my heart recently. <laughs> that was really hard to say. But, um, I really hope that you guys will take... Oh, I cannot hold up my arm. I just hope that you guys will take this into account when you pray or when you talk to somebody new. Just talk to them, smile to them. You never know what their day is going or how their day is going. Just smile at them, tell them hi. I do it all the time with people on the sidewalk. I don't know them. They probably think I'm weird, but I just smile at them. I mean, what's the worst they can do? Hurt me? Go ahead. Um, I've got a savior who loves me, and he would smile at you too. So you should live your life like Christ would live his. So, And I know it's hard to do, but you should. So, um, yeah, but I want to thank everybody who um, has been at CSF and has been... Um, my friend and has really helped me through some times here. Um, I've talked to some of you about certain things, um, and it's great to have those support systems. So thank you. Um, and thank you for those who put on the prayer and worship night tonight. It was just amazing. I loved it. Um, and yeah, I hope we do another one soon. I hope more people come. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Remember, you're worth something. God loves you. I love you. And make sure you like this video. Subscribe down below. And... Yeah, love you guys. Bye.